Hello friends and welcome. Today we'll be learning how to implement authentication in Flutterflow with Superbase. Alright, so right now I just have a blank project loaded up and now we will be going to implement the login and register pages. So we just go to our widget tree and let's just add some pages. You can use the search for login and we'll just use a very simple template like the one right here. We'll just rename it to login page. And we'll duplicate this page as our register page. We also have a very similar format to it as well. We can just delete the home page for now since we don't need it anymore. All right, so let's just work on the login page first. The login page Yep, the login page already looks fine with the template. We'll just change the register page now. So instead of welcome back, we'll just say welcome. And this text, we'll just leave it as that for now. We'll just add more uh, fields. So for the fields, we can just duplicate the text fields. Duplicate two more. So what we want to register them with is their email as well as the password. And we also want to get additional information like their name and yep, their name. So let's just change this to a name text field. And we can scroll down on the right here. Under label text, we can just put name. This will leave as the email. For this will be For this, we'll just move it down. And for this, this will leave it as the password. Actually, let's just delete this one right here for now. And we'll duplicate this password text field so that we can have a confirm password text field. So we'll just change the name to confirm password. And we can scroll down even more and as for the label text, we'll just change it to confirm password. Alright, and for this sign in button, we'll just change it to create account. So for the text here, just change it to create account. And for the for this uh, bottom text, we'll just change it to already have an account. And then we can sign in here. All right, so yeah, that's basically the basic uh, UI for our login and register page done. So we'll be implementing the actual authentication functionality in our Flutterflow app and connecting Superbase to our Flutterflow project. All right, so I've got a basic Superbase project set up here. And we can go back to Flutterflow and what we want to do is we want to go to on this left hand side menu over here we want to go to we want to go to settings and integrations and under app settings we want to go to authentication and we want to enable authentication for authentication type, since we're using Superbase as our backend database, we'll you just select Superbase. For the initial page, we'll just set it as uh, login page for now. For the login page, we can just create one more home page for when we log in. We'll just create a blank page for now. And just name it home page. We can just leave it empty for now. And we can go back. And for the logged in page, is when we are logged in, we can just put in home page. Then now we can scroll even more down and under integrations, we can click on Superbase and enable Superbase. For this Superbase API URL and add on key, we can go back to our Superbase project. And under project settings, we can go to 
API. So this is the project URL, just copy and paste it here. Same thing for the anon key, it's this one, anon key. We just copy it and we paste it in the anon key. Then we can just press get schema. Now we can go back to our login page. We can go to sign in and we can go to actions. Open the action flow editor. And actually, if you use the template, it should already be uh, set up for you. But we'll just start from scratch first. We can add an action and then we can search for Superbase. And under this, we can say, because this is the login page, we just click on this login one. For the auth provider, we just click on email. For the email field, we'll click on the email address, which is got from the text field. And for the password field, we just click on password. Yep. And that is done for the login page. We can do the same thing for the register page as well. Click on the create account button. And now, instead of login, we don't want to log in, so we delete that action. Instead, we can search for Superbase. And what we want to do instead is we want to create account. So for the auth provider, it will still be email because we're using the, our email to sign in and create an account. For the email field, we'll just click on the email address. For the password field, we'll choose the password. And for the confirm password, we'll click on the confirm password text field that we made just now. All right, so that's basically it. One more thing to note with uh, for Superbase implementation of authentication in Flutterflow, we have to try change some things in the Flutterflow. And now, sorry, we have to change some things in the Superbase authentication. So we have to go back to our Superbase project, and in this left hand side column, we have to go to authentication, and we have to go to providers. We have to choose this email provider and we have to uh, toggle these two options to false because it may give us some unwanted complications in our Flutterflow app later. So just toggle these two to false and just click save. Yeah, and that's basically it. If you run it in test mode right now, it should work. Oh, and one more thing before we actually test the app. We want to add this uh, navigation over here. So when we click this uh, rich text of sign in here, we'll go back to our login page. And when we click sign up here, we'll go back to our register page. So to do that, it's really simple. Just click on the rich text, click on actions and open the action flow editor. We we'll add an action and we search, uh, oh, it's right here, navigate to. We'll navigate to the login page, close this. And then we go to the login page and we do the same for the text over here. So we just click on actions, we open, we add action, and we'll just click navigate to, and we'll just go navigate to the register page. All right, so that is done, and now we can test our application. All right, so the test mode has just loaded up, and we can see that there is this. We start on the login page. If we want to create a new account, we can sign up here. And then now we are at the register page, we can just register. Can do like test for the email. You can just do a test email. Oops, gmail.com. The password we can just put a random password. And then we can try to create an account. Yeah, and so once we create the account, we can see that we are in the home page now. So that means that we have successfully logged in. We can check our super base as well. Under authentication, we can go to users and yep, yeah, see this is our newly created account. Yep, yeah, so that's basically it of how to implement uh, super base in, I mean, how to implement super base authentication in Flutterflow. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.